In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website using a, a, a GitHub and you can host the website on GitHub uh, for free. And this is very important because later when we uh, design a Python package and after we read this to GitHub, we want to host it and you also want, might want to uh, promote the package on your website. So this is where you can create a website uh, for your personal uh, your resume for, for anything you can also create a website for uh, the package so and um, let's get started first of all go to uh, our google site and uh, from resources uh, you can click resources here i put uh, two links in here the first one is uh, where, you, where you can download our website template the second one is uh, github pages and this is actually where we are going to use uh, to host our website so um if you have time, you can go through uh, to take a look how to actually to um, create a website. And here are some of the instructions. Um, so we're going to go through step by step how you can create a website. And um, if you once you get used to it, uh, within just three or four minutes, you can have a website up and running uh, and you don't have to pay anything. So everything is free. Um, first, um, you need to go to your GitHub account and so let me show you in here for example uh this is my github repo right this is the gmap uh, package that i develop and i also have a, a, a website uh, with documentation so this one actually is hosted uh, using uh, github and it's free uh you can so at the end of the semester we're going to also create something like this um uh, all these are using uh, markdown uh it's very uh, easy to uh to use so next uh that's uh uh let me show you like where can we set this one up so i'm going to show you here uh, under your to uh, repo uh settings you should be able to if you scroll down uh to somewhere uh, near the bottom you should be able to see this one github pages right uh github pages uh is designed to host your personal organization or uh, project pages from a github repository and uh you will see here i have a custom domain uh you don't have to like buy a domain you can just use um, a domain from uh, github for free uh, i'm going to show you uh, later but uh, this is more uh, if you want to have a personal uh, uh, customized domain you can also link the domain to uh, github okay so next let's uh, get to uh, get started so you can go to your uh, uh, profile and we're going to create a new repo so if you see from here click the icon and then new repository from here very very important if this is you if you have not created a website with github uh before uh, this one is very very important because if you don't follow this one you won't be able to create a website so if i come back to uh, the github pages uh, you will see in here uh, head over to github and create a repository name username.github.io right so username is whatever username you hear you have so i can come back to here paste and make sure you change this one to your username so for example my username is jswqs and um, you also need to have talk github to io um, in the previous video i show you how to create a github profile uh, that one is different from a, a website so, okay github profile is basically uh, if i come back to okay let me go to my profile in here so github profile is something if you see from here uh people will know that it come it is hosted on github and this is what is being shown in here but if you create an independent website hosted on uh, using github pages people might not be able to tell like where does this one is hosted so for example this is uh, the gmap package uh, you cannot really distinguish like is it hosted on github or somewhere else uh, you, you you don't know but certainly if you look into the repo uh, you might be able to find the source code so uh, if I click here, uh, this website is actually all the source code is uh, is this in here uh, docs. So this is all the website uh, the contents are actually in here. But um, we're gonna create one that uh, if you don't want to make it public, people can not see where it is hosted. Anyway, so first uh, you need to have a repo name and make sure that whatever username you use, uh, it must be exactly the same as like this. And then dot github dot io. That's it. After that, uh, you don't really in here. You don't need to really add anything. You can just create, or you can have my description say my personal uh, e e r s o n a l website. Okay, 
if you want you can create a readme if you have a readme file uh it will also save as a, as a website so i can show you for example let me check this one and also uh uh talk uh gig you know if you want so i can also say for example uh maybe it's html i'm not sure if it has anything if not um we can just leave it uh, as it is if you want you can choose a license a uh, license uh, because if you make your website public people can just copy the source code of a website and then uh, it will become their website so you if you want to choose a license uh, you can do that so oh, what happened uh, i cannot create my repository it's probably because i already create one but um let me see in here yeah it does not allow me let me try in here Mm -hmm. interesting let me let me go back right here because i already have a website uh created before um and then i just changed the uh the GitHub repo name so i can show you one more time okay this is the one i already have but anyway let me try one more new repository and get to Oh, okay it works now okay so uh again uh, username to github to io and for here uh, i'm just going to leave it as it is i just add a readme and um that's it so i can say my personal website then just create create repository so keep in mind this will be just our website and right now it doesn't really have uh content yet but think about this is your root directory for your project uh, or for your website and you can have sub projects uh, you can have um, ma as many as website uh, if you want so next what you need to do uh, is to go to settings and from there uh, scroll down you see uh, github pages and you will see from this one your site is published at this so if i just click open you can see here this is what we have right now so this is a website so the URL will be your username dot github dot io. So this is your uh, personal web, uh, website, and as you can see from the the, uh, the website, uh, the source code. Let's go back to here. It's just read uh, read me dot md. So uh, in the previous video, I already show you how to actually to create um, to make changes. You can uh, add more stuff uh, to the markdown, but uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have uh, download a website template and then you can just have a nice website um, without having to start from scratch. So next, we are going to do is to just clone the repo to our local computer so that we can uh, uh, make changes. So first, click the uh, call icon, copy, and then come back to here. I'm going to save to my documents and I think it's GitHub. Yes, so in here, I'm going to right click and open uh, git bash here. Then what you need to do, git clone, paste, and then uh, right click, paste. So hit enter. Okay, done. So we already cloned this one to our uh, computer. And then you can right click, open uh, with code. So we're going to open this one using Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, uh, we already have this one. You can just, if you want to use simple markdown, I can just uh, edit the markdown. For example, I can like I did last time. Okay, education, right? And then you can have like uh, PhD, um, whatever you want to put, whatever, uh, M and MA. Then for example, B, uh, BS, okay. And continue to have more. I mean, in why employment, for example, you can have more, right? Uh, you can have uh, like teaching. It's up to you. So I'm just going to show you example, and then from here, uh, hit save. Then click this one. I can 
So after we make the changes, we want to have this one uh, update on the website. So all we need to do, I can say just update uh, readme. Uh, the message is just for your information. And then all we need to do, control enter on your keyboard. Control enter. And it's committed. So basically you are taking a snapshot uh, of what you are doing here. Next, we're going to push this one to um, GitHub. So after you click push, uh, it's only take a couple seconds. Then we come back to here. Uh, refresh you should see this one uh, up uh, up and running but if you want to see the website uh, you need to go to again uh, settings right if you remember the URL I can directly use the URL uh, but if you don't remember then you can where's the uh, okay here take this one open and you need to refresh okay so it's done as you can see from here if you use this URL um, although people can figure out that this is hosted on uh, on GitHub, but uh, this is kind of a nice, simple uh, website you can create. Uh, you can have hyperlink, you can have uh, images, you can have all kind of stuff uh, you want. But also, you might want to, they say, once I have the link, uh, I can copy the link. I can also go to uh, this uh, Git repo page. So from here, about, you can click the about and then settings. You can paste the URL here, so you'll be better. Right. And I can say by personal website, I can change if you want, and then save changes. Next time, so if you come to this repo, you can just click the URL here, uh, and then go to the website. <coughs> it's the same. So, pretty simple and easy to use. And uh, this, if you use Markdown, uh, most loads are just uh, simple and straightforward, but sometimes you want to have... Um, a fancy website uh, you might need to use some HTML or JavaScript to uh, have a more advanced uh, website so what we can do is that we want to download some uh, templates so that we can just uh, use the template without having to start from scratch again go back to the github uh, google site and from here I have a link uh, html5apt.net uh, so this is a nice website that has a lot of templates that you can choose from and if you want uh, you can scroll down you can find something you like so for example if you like a certain one uh, you can click live demo and from here you'll be able to see like uh, the preview of the website so this is just uh, some template and uh, if, if you want then you can download this one and then we can just push that one to github so you can like table that mall uh, portrait you can also check the mobile uh, mall right so this is like a responsive uh, a design. It depends on the the size of your the the, the screen. Uh, either it's a tablet or a mobile phone. Uh, it's going to resize. So uh, pretty nice. And this you can scroll down. You can find any uh, template that you like. Keep in mind, it, you don't have to download from here. You can download from anywhere as it, as long as you can find a good uh, template uh, HTML uh, HTML uh, template. But uh, this is a nice one. So let me scroll down see if there's anything that we like. Go down. Okay. How about this one? Live demo. Take a look at this. Uh, this is pretty good for maybe uh, your uh, portfolio or your personal website. If when once we de uh, design those uh, uh, Python packages, you can also have some links in here. For example, a tab of uh, packages. People click and they can uh, preview. Or you can have some tutorial or whatever information you want to put uh, here okay so they say i want this one i want to have a website like this um all you need to do upper right corner here download and uh, it's going to download to your computer or oh, once it's downloaded uh, it's under my uh, downloads folder you just need to double click and uh, as you can see you have just one file HTML and then license uh, readme.txt and uh, assets. Uh, so this is basically using uh, uh, HTML and JavaScript. What we want to do, select all of those, just copy and then come to the GitHub repo where we put uh, the, uh, where we cloned the repo earlier. So documents, this is where I put, uh, so it depends on where you put the website, uh, the, the GitHub repo. Once you're here within the root directory, just right click, paste, <coughs> and lala. So you can see right now we have the file uh, within the folder. We can just click the file and then open it. 
uh, to preview the website so okay right so this is uh, just the website you can see it right now on your local computer but I'm, we, we are going to push this one to github so that uh, you can also use this and first of all let's go back to uh, visual studio code as you can see once we paste the content right now these are all the changes that are waiting uh, to be committed you can go back to the uh, file mode explorer and this one shows you like uh, the information what we need to do is to actually want to modify the contents because uh, this is the name this is not our name um not my name uh, you want to change this one to your name or you can also customize these tabs and in order to do that you probably need to have some basic uh, html uh, knowledge but uh, you can just open visual studio code and uh, open the file and just navigate through you should be able to figure out figure it out uh, it's not that complicated so um what we want to do for example if we open the html and then if you go to the file uh somewhere in here what we want to do is to for example change your name like for example like this one uh, if you go back to the website here one more time right if you see any text here you don't like you can make changes so uh, i'm just going to make some simple changes that you can um you can uh, change also by yourself so i'm going to change let select this one and let's change it to my name okay also you can change your title uh the one so beneath your name so i can say sixton professor then control s it's automatic safe now if you come back re refresh okay so uh it's reflected my name and you can also change for example the tabs in here these are all things you can if you want to customize you can so uh it's under here right uh navigation so intro portfolio about me contact uh you can add one more line if you want uh but for me i'm just going to simply for example a portfolio i can say for example my uh cv if you want uh, about me uh contact uh, whatever okay enjoy it come back oh in here this one refresh okay so you see it's simple it is you can change the text uh if you want right so this is like hi uh, blah 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 if you need want to make changes again you can go back to here uh it's probably somewhere down in here okay here so this is the text right and i say hi i am blah blah and uh you can make changes so i can say i'm using wu okay these things you can make changes late, uh, later if you want but i'm just going to show you how we can quickly push this one to github uh, let me refresh it here right things and pretty nice just one single file actually this is a simple html it's not very complicated all other stuff uh, you can just dip as it is once we make the changes if you click the uh, the sort icon so, uh, source control these are all the files that we are going to commit it so uh because we have two subfolders and these folders right now if you see a u that means it's unstage unstage that means it's right now we haven't uh, checked these files we haven't committed the file yet so what we want to do uh you all we need to do is just go to source control and then meshes we can say add website template and then again control enter control enter it's going to automatically commit all the files and then uh, take a snapshot so control enter now you see all the changes are gone that means that uh, we have taken a snapshot once we have done that go to here uh the three dots and then just push so we are waiting for this one to be uploaded all the documents to be uploaded to uh to github and then we should be good to go okay it's done and we can come back to github uh, come back to here refresh okay so all the files right now are being loaded and as you can see we have a couple of uh, files in here so next let's preview see if you uh see this lala as you can see right simple and straightforward you have a website up and running and this is where you, the, the the domain uh the, the the url for your website uh, you can continue to make changes also down here you have some icons for example our uh, social media 
you can also make a link um, to your social media if you want right um, if you want you can come back to the document and probably somewhere down below that uh, you can have all the URL uh, I'm not quite sure where it is right now so images me back one more time so this is the Twitter uh, Facebook it might be on this file it might be somewhere else uh, let me take a look close call down contact uh, contact so it's not here that means we probably need to go to uh, website web form CSS okay so uh as i mentioned uh in here if you want to change something like this all these icons uh you can do that as well so if, uh if you don't know the location where to make changes you can uh, come here to source and because i know that's a twitter icon all right and you just source twitter from here html uh click this one you will navigate to the location so uh as you can see right now uh the you have five uh, icons uh, that we can make changes so for example i'm just changing the first one uh, let's say twitter or github and what we can do in here it's the icon is already in here all i need to do is just to change this one to the url of my uh twitter or github so all i need to do is https and then you'll be what um twitter.com and then my user uh username Similarly for my github, right? I can also change this one the URL HTTPS uh, You will be github.com and then gswqs control s uh, And then we can come back to here to refresh the website So keep it in mind uh, you, if you want to refresh uh, it's use the uh, go here to open the file uh, on your computer just directly double click uh, it's open if you refresh right now using uh, this one it won't work okay uh, you because we haven't pushed this one to github yet okay so now if we i uh click the lower left corner if you see right now when i hover over the icon you will see the url right so if i click uh it should go to my navigate to my github account right similarly uh, if i click the the twitter icon uh, it should go to my uh, twitter okay so this is how simple it is uh, you can continue to make changes uh, make changes uh, until you are satisfied with the website and if you don't like the template you can just um, uh, come back to here download another template and then just uh, delete all of this copy and paste the other template and then put the content in here and then go to uh, uh, visual studio code uh, commit the changes and then push that's it as simple as it is so next uh, I've made some small changes so now I can say for example uh, update social media control enter done push and then we can okay done then we can come back to github we close other keep that in mind so once we push the changes if you see this icon in here uh, right now, I think it's just turned to uh, uh, blue. When it's like in uh, um, uh, yellow color, that means it's running. So the website has not been deployed yet. If you see this, that means it's a good sign. Uh, the website has been deployed. And then you can just click here uh, to open this one. You can refresh if you want. Now, if you go to the left corner, right, it's being updated. Uh, similarly, you click this, you should be able to open this. If you have others you can also you can also change the the icon um everything can be customized if you know how to use uh html but anyway so later when we have the project uh you might also have want to have a website like this uh, so you can up and running and use you can have a url gs hub uh, .io. uh if you want to have a custom domain you can purchase a domain from uh, um google or others so google uh, i think you can just go to maybe call uh, google domain 
usually every year i think it's like um 10 20 bucks uh you can buy one if you want so uh google domains also the other one is called uh go daddy d-a-d-d-y you can also purchase a, a domain name from here so it depends on what kind of domain you like usually it's sometimes first year is only like one dollar um uh, usually or for like popular one might be 10 20 bucks so uh, once you purchase the domain you can come back to uh, the settings and scroll down in here so from here then you can just paste your custom domain but you also need to make some changes on uh, your custom domain but um if you if you're interested in going uh, that direction uh, if you have any issues uh, you can uh, let me know but for now i'm just going to show you here like this is where you can create your personal uh, website uh, as simple as it is so but you might sometimes you might want to have multiple websites uh, because this is just one of those you if you want to have like different web, uh, website for different uh, purposes uh, you can do that as well so uh, one simple way is to do this so in here i can create a subfolder so within that subfolder then i can have another website so for example i can just create maybe this one here i can just specifically they say um project whatever uh, the name uh, it doesn't matter so later we're going to because right now if you go to my uh url here gs uh at github.io so later you'll be the sub folder so it will be number project so in that case and i'm going to download another like uh, uh template just to show you uh how it works so let me come back to here Ooh. and just go back and this uh this time let's try the other template how about this one like photos so for example you can just um free download okay so you're going to download to my uh, computer and then open again i can just copy this come back to my github repo within the subfolder you can paste in here okay anyway so because this one is for photos i can just say uh create a uh, sub sub folder called uh, photos and then paste done and then i can open uh like this in here okay it, it, it's just a template so you can uh, you can customize if you want but after that come back to here you see we have a, another bunch of files that you uh, want to uh, commit so uh, you don't need to make changes if you don't want to i can just say add uh photos uh website and so enter and then push so now we have a new website you can create as many folders uh, as you want so that you can use each one for different uh, different projects um so come back to here now i can go to my repo uh, refresh okay so if you don't provide a link in here then you can directly go to uh photos let's take a look okay so you can see now uh, up and running so you have a, a second uh, uh, website and um, really nice if you have already have images in there it will show the images so this is something that you can create easily but i'm showing here uh, it takes time but if you're doing it uh for yourself it probably only just, it takes three or four sec uh minutes so within five minutes uh five minutes you can have a website up and running and host it for free using uh github uh, this is just one way uh, that you can create a website but once you have the main one you can also have multiple uh, uh websites uh so it's repo you, this is everything within one github repo you can also create another repo and then use that to um create a, a, a new branch called github pages uh, but i think for this video i'm just going to uh, make it simple so you can just follow my instruction to create uh, something like this and uh, so for the lab assignments uh, for this week uh, is for you to create a website like this like this uh, also uh, your github uh, profile and so make sure that you follow instruction to create one for yourself and also for the 
for future use. Uh, if you after you graduate, if you want to go to the job market, uh, you want to have a resume. Uh, so in like if you have a personal website, that's uh, even better. Okay, so that's all for this video. Uh, we see you in the uh, next one. Take care.